Okay, good day students, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this particular class, we are going to be determining the relative density of a liquid using Archimedes principle. And in this experiment, we have the following apparatus. Number one, a spring balance you see here, mounted on a retort stand as we have here. And then we have a liquid water, another liquid oil, and then a stone or an object, especially of irregular shape. So how do we find or what are we interested in? We are interested in finding the relative density of this particular oil. You can actually use any material other than this, as you may wish. So what is the procedure? As you are seeing there, the procedure will be that we would find the weight of this particular object in air and record it as W1 find its weight in liquid water, record it as W2, find its weight in oil, W3, and then we deduce the upthrust, both in water and in the oil. And then with that, we can be able to calculate our relative density um, of the oil using the upthrust in water, upthrust in the oil over the upthrust in water. So I'd like that to join me to see the procedure and the practical explanation of this particular experiment. So the first step would be to mount this on the spring balance. So here I have, first of all, I'd like to show you the original reading of the spring balance. So here you can see that the original reading or the initial reading of the spring balance is at point zero. So we have to take note of the zero error before we commence our experiment. So we are going to be finding the weight of this particular object in air. So we have here, according to what we have here, 40 grams. We are going to convert this to Newton. So when we convert that to Newton, we are going to get 0 0.4 Newton by the time we convert it to Newton. So our weight in air of this particular object is 0 0.4 Newton. I'm going to proceed to put this particular object in the liquid water and then we are going to find out what will be the weight. We expect that an upthrust will act on it. Of course, remember that an upthrust is an upward force that acts on a body that is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid. So let us immerse it inside water and see the upthrust that will be exerted on it, then we can find the new weight. So having here, you see it, the particular object is fully immersed in water, ensure that it is not touching any path of the beaker, right? So here we have the object fully immersed in water without touching any part of it. Now let us find out what the reading will be. If you look at the spring balance here, you will notice that our reading here is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 as you can see here. Uh, sorry, 20 gram. It's 20 gram. By the time we calculate this and convert to Newton, we are going to get 0 0.2 Newton. All right, so this is what we have at the moment when it is fully immersed in water. What I'm going to do quickly is that I'm going to remove it from water and dry it before we proceed to the oil. So here is the object after being dried. You can confirm that the original position or the weight of the object in air is still intact at 0 0.4 Newton. Now I'm going to proceed to insert this in, in oil. So to achieve that, I'm simply going to put this in oil. So here is the object immersed in oil. You know that oil is more viscous than water, as you can see. So here is the reading on the spring balance. You can see it's just between two and three. That's 20 and 30. So our reading is approximately 25 grams, which is equal to 0 0.25 grams, as you can see here, 0 0.25 Newton. So this is the reading of or the weight of the object in the oil. So with these readings now, I'm going to quickly proceed and deduce the upthrust in water and upthrust in the oil and then we can now finally deduce our relative density. So from what we have from our, our deductions, we have that the weight in air is 0 0.4 Newton, the weight in water is 0 0.2 Newton, and the weight in oil is 0 0.25 Newton. 
The implication of that is that the up thrust in water is equal to the weight in air minus weight in water, which is 0 0.2 Newton. And the up thrust in the oil is the weight in air minus the weight in the oil, which is 0 0.15 Newton. So if we now substitute into our formula for relative density, it means that relative density, which is up thrust in oil over up thrust in water, the relative density of the oil will now give us 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.2 and then our final answer will give us 0 0.75. So the relative density of this oil we use is 0 0.75. You can compare it with the original value of the relative density of an oil. We'll see that our answer is actually very correct. So this is how you can be able to deduce the relative density of, an, of a liquid using the Archimedes principle. So I believe that this experiment has been of help to you. We appreciate you. Remain blessed.